Amino acids are the key components in proteins. Proteins are basically a polymer of amino acids that is determined by the order of the nucleotides in DNA. And so to flip that, proteins are a manifestation of DNA sequence. They are the physical manifestation of DNA sequence. If, if DNA is like a blueprint, proteins are like the structure that the blueprint describes. And there is an intermediary process that copies DNA and transcribes it into RNA. And on the basis of the sequence in RNA, which corresponds to the sequence in DNA, proteins are assembled into a sequence of amino acids. But those processes are beyond the scope of this course. But the bottom line is that DNA sequence is linked to RNA sequence is linked to protein sequence. And without the sequence in DNA, you don't get the protein sequence. So proteins are composed of amino acids. And they have an amino group, and they have an acid group, a carboxylic acid group, amino acid. And then they have, so there's the amino group, there's the carboxyl group and they have an alpha carbon to which is attached a side chain. And that side chain is what varies. The amino alpha carbon carboxyl forms the backbone and the nature of the side chains determines the structure of the protein. At neutral pH, the amino is charged, it's positively charged, the carboxyl group is negatively charged. And so the overall charge is neutral, but you have a distinct polarity at neutral pH. And if you go to low pH, the amino group stays protonated and the carboxyl group becomes protonated. If you go to high pH, the carboxyl group stays charged and the amino group deprotonates. And so there are equations where, by which you can determine exactly what the concentration of the amino group and the carboxyl, what, what form they are in at different pHs. The properties of the side chains are important because they determine protein structure. The side chains come in multiple classes, acidic, basic, polar, apolar, or hydrophobic, and then glycine, which is sort of the lone little acid that just has a hydrogen. It doesn't really have a side chain. And again, acidic, basic, polar, apolar, and glycine all by itself. You need to know the properties of these side chains because they are so important in determining protein structure and protein function. And for that reason, I've assigned one structure in each of these categories for you to know. And there's a, a game, and I admittedly it's kind of a lame game, that may help you learn the structures of the amino acids, and there's the link there if you wish to play with it a little bit. There may be some better ones, and so if you find some, let me know. So here are the structures of the 20 amino acids. And you can see the side chains, which are outlined in green, are all different. And there's one amino acid that's really different, and that is it is an amino acid instead of an am amino acid, and that's proline. And this is the structure of the proline. And you can see the carboxyl and the alpha carbon, which has these, the hydrogen and then this, this cyclic ring attached to it. And then instead of an, of an amino group, we have an imino group. And that imino group is part of this cyclic structure that comes back to the backbone. This means that there is a limitation around the rotation between the nitrogen and the C-alpha carbon because it's limited by participation in this cyclic structure. So proline is different and you'll we'll see later that proline exacts very specific limitations on the fold that the protein structure can assume. So again, here are outlined, highlighted in green, are the apolar or hydrophobic amino acids with their side chains outlined. And tryptophan is one of the aromatic amino acids. It's down on the left, highlighted in a green square that you need to know. These are the polar hydrophilic amino acids that have highlights in sort of a brownish color. And the one that I need you to know is serine. 
and you'll notice that there are above the name of the amino acid and then in parentheses a three letter code and then to the left of them a one letter code. So serine is, is abbreviated as SER or as just S. These are the acidic and basic amino acids and you'll see the side chains are highlighted in red for the acidic and blue for the basic and you need to know two of these, glutamic and lysine. So the five that you need to know are glycine, serine, glutamic, lysine, and tryptophan. Perhaps one day you will need to know all of them. And it's important to remember that proline is an amino acid rather than an amino acid and that that has impact on the shape of the backbone. So why do you think the properties of amino side chains are important? What, what does that do? It would be good to think a little bit about why the properties of the side chains are so important for protein structure.